The spirit of the Maasai Mara, we always concentrate on local causes, one of which is the orphanage, Old Malika Trust. That is a truly awe-inspiring effort to look after the children in the community. The trust is a safe home for girls under the age of 12, all the way down to infants who have experienced trauma in their lives to come and begin the healing process. This is the kitchen where they do all the cooking and the little toddlers eat here at the small table and then um, the staff take turns at the table. We currently have nine girls in the home in primary school and five babies. And then we have about 20 who have transitioned home that are still under our care financially. So it's really important to us. When we can get help, we're so grateful. At the Trust, we have a dental clinic, and it's staffed by volunteer dentists from around the world, including Kenyans. They can do root canals, fillings, um, extractions, cleanings, just about anything. The chat is cheap checking out today. The care that we give at the dental clinic is free for everyone. It doesn't matter where you're from, doesn't matter the color of your skin, doesn't matter anything. It's simply free for everybody. Because we're a trust, we're a nonprofit organization. We're not affiliated with any organization, a church, or anything like that. So we're always looking for just simple donations to be able to provide each day. Spirit of the Maasai Mara also supports Light for Life, a charity run by Dave Maskell. What you're seeing here is a solar-powered predator deterrent system to prevent lions, hyenas, leopards, other predators gaining access to livestock within the Vanyata, within the homestead of the Ma people. And if we succeed in doing that, it takes away any desire for those people to retaliate in the event that predators get into the, the system. Uh, the way that it's set up is that you have a solar panel here which feeds into a small computerized charge control unit. Once the night comes and it turns the system on automatically. You think of all the major predators, that they have very, very sensitive eyes. And so this constant blinking is irritating, completely obnoxious to them. Where you come on a situation where you've got a little old, old widow, as she just lost her last 10 sheep. She's not going to get any compensation. She's lost her livelihood. If we put it in a system for her, it eliminates the possibility of retaliation. So everybody wins. What else is more perishable than saving lives?